Peter also has the distinction of being the, the, the one who uh, says, you are the Christ. At that pivotal moment, right in the center of the Gospel of Mark, he uh, uh, answers the, the big question, the question really that comes to everybody. Who do you say that I am, Jesus asks. Well, some say that, you, that you're Elijah. Others say that you're one of the prophets. Still more say that you're John the Baptist, come back to life. But who do you say that I am? Silence. Till Peter says, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. That's right. You got it. You got the words out there right, Peter. But it's only a few verses later where he is misunderstanding. And Jesus has to say to him, get behind me, Satan. Even calling him Satan. For you, uh, things that you're thinking about are, are not things of God, but of man. So he says the right words, but doesn't quite understand the full import of what he is saying yet. But that's certainly a step forward. Don't we use language the same way? We come across a word and use it and don't quite understand what it means. And then the teacher will call you to task and say, now, uh, what does the dictionary say about that word? What does it really mean? Use it in another sentence for me. I remember that from school. Use it in another sentence to show that you have grasped the concept and not just uh, uh, the, the pronunciation of the word. 